Hi, I'm Randy Altman with Post Perspective. We're here at Seagraph 2016, day one, and I've got David Tracy from the Chaos Group next to me, and they make V-Ray, but they do a lot of cool stuff. Now, you guys have some stuff going on here at the show, including new new tools, well, new updates. We have, we have updates, we have tools, we have tech, we have uh, a veritable cornucopia. Big words of things. Very good, and day, yeah. it's day one, too, so well done. That was off the cuff. Um, so yeah, so we've got V-Ray Days, which are free sessions. They're open to all uh, attendees with uh, exclusive kind of behind the scenes looks at uh, a lot of great like television, film, game cinematics. We're gonna be showing stuff from the new Final Fantasy movie upcoming. We've got Atomic Fiction, Blur, um, we'll have a lot of really good uh, presenters. Um, and it's again, it's a free thing, but you definitely you cannot take any video at it or anything like that. It's kind of, we couldn't show it on the show floor if we wanted to. Um, but it's still, if you're here, you should go to it. Or next year, if you're here, you should go to it. Yes, you should. No, and it's not. It's just. It's about the entire workflow, correct? It's not just about where your tools come in. Is it? Is it the workflow in general? It's. It's the workflow in general. It's. It's. It's the stuff that you kind of wish you could see on the back of on the extras on a Blu-ray or anything like that. It's just. It really is a, a candid look at you know the challenges that that artists face and and what they did to overcome those challenges and just create this amazing, just this amazing content that they do every day. And then also we do some uh, technology preview stuff and talk about like the roadmaps for V-Ray and other things like that. Um, we have a really good uh, partnership with um, a company called Nozone that we're talking about at this show this year. And they have a way with, uh, we do a lot with VR, like everybody. Uh, but one of the challenges of VR is that people are really focusing on what to do with um, with the content or with uh, what headset to wear and things of that sort. And we've already come out with a guide to VR. That's something that's that's free. That's available on our on our website. Um, but also, we're really interested in the workflow and the challenges of workflow for VR for an artist. And what Nozone has done, um, and we're going to be the first commercially available product for them. It's the way to get. Uh, content out of V-Ray, the V-Ray renders into VR with full parallax, six degrees of motion, not just like looking around, but actually looking behind objects, seeing reflections, things of that sort, um, being able to do that without a game engine. So it kind of removes you know, an added barrier. And, and for us, that's a really big thing because we have uh, a lot of people in architecture and stuff like that where for them, there's a very practical use for VR today. And that's one less tool that, they have to, that they'll have to worry about. Um, we're also showing off some technology about rendering in the headset, so you can get like a live view of the render as it's happening, wearing your Oculus, and then as you make uh, edit, you know, changes within the render, you see it update in the headset without having to like hit render, wait, put on the headset, see if it looks good, take off the headset, tweak it, things of that sort. So we're really interested in, in what we can do to help the, the help creative people in their workflow and the best way to get to that content that they want to create. It's sort of a new frontier in terms of workflow for VR and people are like, okay, do I wear a headset while I'm creating this or don't I? Yeah. So they have sort of, they have a choice now. Well, it's it's really just a preview kind of a tech thing of it. It's, it's, not, it's not part of any of the products yet, um, but it's definitely something that we want to continue focusing on because um, we just, you know, it's one of those things that VR is not going away. It's not. It's not a flash in the pan sort of technology. It's. It's a very real, and applicable thing that's only going to grow. So uh, we want to make that as easy a transition as possible and let people, basically, be able to rethink cinema and not be hindered by the tools. Very cool. Now, um, you have something with Moto. You have V-Ray yes. for Moto. We do have V-Ray for Moto. V-Ray for Moto, we worked, we uh, have a great partnership with the Foundry, and uh, we just released V-Ray for Moto. It's been, uh, it's been really big for, for both of us. It was a great release. Um, I was involved personally in it, so I'm, I'm particularly proud of it, because I'm, I'm former Foundry, so it's kind of been a fun, I'm a Moto person, so I'm happy it's out, and it looks great, and, and now uh, Moto artists have access to V-Ray CPU and V-Ray GPU rendering right within Moto. And at the same time, studios now have access to this amazing talent pool of Moto artists that, you know, will be able to go in there and know V-Ray and be in established pipelines. So it's a that's that's a really a fun one for us. Anything else that we haven't touched on that's important? 
Uh, do you want to go into stochastic flakes? Flakes? Should I go to stochastic? Yes. Stochastic flakes. It is a rendering thing. It's actually a really a big rendering thing. It's a it's a it's a pretty big challenge. It's it's those metallic flakes like in car paint, uh, like, or in a bowling ball, something like that. Um, like the little like sparkles you see like in snow or sand, uh, things that are that are traditionally very difficult to render. And we're doing a uh, technology talk at SIGGRAPH this year, going into a, a new algorithm that we're uh, working on for stochastic flakes that has GPU acceleration and uh, gives a very realistic look to it that uh, we're very excited to see where, where this takes us. So one of those big rendering challenges that, that affects people, that there's some implementations of it, but nothing quite like this. Do you want to um, point people to your website? I do. Right now? No. Yes. <laughs> No, we no. Yes. Yeah, chaosgroup.com. Uh, also, v-ray.com has got some um, got some information as well. But Chaos Group is where you want to go. Very cool. Thanks for stopping by. Aren't you glad you had me here? Isn't yeah, it, I am very <laughs> very glad actually. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go soon. It's though. the funnest conversation on stochastic flakes you could possibly have. It's true, and I would debate anyone. I, to, that says differently. That's a throwdown. That's a challenge. That is a challenge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> David, thank you. thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Always good to see you. Same here. All right. Randy Altman, Seagraph 2016.